Welcome to Live with Aaron and Kelly. I'm Aaron Michael Sanchez. And I'm Kelly V. Dolan. And we have with us, I am so excited because I have to say like 10 minutes into it, I was crying and sobbing. Then I had to have like, like napkins to my eyes because my eyes were watering. Jesse Pavelka of the biggest loser of this season. I have to say, Jesse, you got me crying, brother. Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't mean to make that happen, but I guess it does with this, with this show, so. <laughs> exactly. Now, now, Jesse, before we jump into it, I got to say, when I posted this on Twitter that we were going to interview you, I thought my Twitter was going to have a breakdown. I literally thought that I was going to be, not be able to get on Twitter because there were so many questions, not only questions, but comments. So I have to congratulate your wife for snatching you up because there are so <laughs> many women that are like, oh my gosh, tell them I said hi, come visit me. How are you and your wife <laughs> handling all of this or has it always been like this? It's, you know, we, uh, you have two, two different parts of your life. You have your career, what we do, and, and my job is, you know, I'm a trainer, but a part of that is, I guess, what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. And then we have, you know, you have your relationship. And I think you have to, you have to separate the two. <laughs> I have no idea how to answer this, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Well, does she wait? Wait. Does she read your Twitter? That's all yeah, I want to know. And how does that yeah, go over? Do, is there ever any feedback that she gives you? I think she avoids it now. I think she learned her lesson a while back. But uh, you know, it's <laughs> yeah. Well, well, congratulations. You guys are making me blush right now. <laughs> well, congratulations on becoming, um, you know, the trainer for the Biggest Loser. I understand that you also um, had hopes and dreams of actually getting getting into acting as well, and you were a trainer on Friday Night Lights. Is that correct? I, I did some stunt work on Friday Night Lights, and uh, Peter Bird called me out uh, of a group of people and had me do a few lines. But that was that was really it. That actually started my that was my intro into tv i kind of saw the potential and i loved the, the community and the people that, that that were on set it was a really kind of it was a really cool experience um so that started everything for me really i i love how in the show uh it, it talked it, it kind of very briefly talked about your background as uh you know playing football and then you kind of shared your own experience of how you know, you, you come away from like football or a big, like like many of these athletes from a big life, and now you got to come back into the real yeah. world. And you know, what was that transition for you like? You know, I think you you dedicate your life to this thing, this this activity, and it becomes religion. It becomes something kind of bigger than you, and then you realize that this relationship that you have with this inanimate thing, this thing that isn't real, <laughs> just something you do, is over because you can't do it forever. And there's this massive void that you have to you have to fill. And for me, it was uh, it took a while actually. The one thing I did know that, is that I loved moving, I loved exercise, and I was really good at it. And I was really good at transforming my physique. And uh, so it was kind of a no-brainer. I, I I turned to training right away. So I got lucky. But some people quit. It's like. What am I going to do? Yeah, and, uh, I, I feel I feel fortunate. For some people, you know, they they go searching for years and years. And I got, uh, you know, it was about a six to twelve month period, and I figured it out. So. <laughs> well, I, I I have to just say because we've lost so many greats, you know, after football or after in, in some uh, sports organizations, they come away from this, yeah. and then and some have committed suicide. So I mean, this is a really life transforming thing, which you're transforming a lot of lives on this show. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of people, they think glory days, it's athletes, it's, you know, uh, some people can't relate, but at the end of the day, these guys, you know, they were at the top of their game and they lost everything. These guys are completely humbled, they're vulnerable, and they, uh, they're no different than the viewer. These guys are their husbands, their wives, they're, they're, they're no different than the people watching the show, and it's, uh, it, 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 I think it's inspiring to the person watching because it, uh, these were their heroes, and now they're here, you know, so it's, uh, it's a powerful message. Absolutely. And now your job is to train them. And so oftentimes when you're in that position of training or teaching, not only are, are they learning something, but you yourself are learning something. Have you learned anything in particular from an individual on the show so far? Uh, you know what? They teach me more than I teach them. I'll tell mm -hmm. you that right now. It's a give and take. And these guys, uh, you really get to see what the human spirit can do. You mm -hmm. get to see how a human can overcome adversity. You get to see 
some really painful places, but you also get to see the light. And I think that that's a, for me, you know, as an outsider looking into their stories and into uh, into their lives, it's uh, it's uh, I wish I wish people could actually be on the ranch when the cameras were off because it's a really amazing thing that happened. Well, I, and, and I love this year how, how they're going, even though they think they're, they've lost, they get another chance. I mean, talk about how yeah. many chances. That's awesome. I have to go real, <laughs> right? I, 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 I wish life gave us that many chances. Uh, now, I, I want to say really quick, uh, Jesse, we have a couple interview, uh, interview questions from really the fan base, yeah. which are the yeah. ones really watching this and, and you know, tweeting and Facebooking uh, your show. One of them is actually from a, a close friend of ours, Catherine Shan. Mm -hmm. She saw that we had posted that we okay. were going to interview you and she's from the UK so this is her viewpoint from the UK she says who are more motivated to lose weight the British or the Americans she loves your UK show <laughs> <laughs> I think at the end of the day we're all people and, uh, oh, come safe on, answer come on. <laughs> <laughs> he's like wait I want to go back to the UK and not alienate them and not be over here in America no, but seriously is there a different mentality between the two is there a different mentality uh, I think there's more accessibility for the bad stuff here okay there's more accessibility for the things that can cause you to go in the wrong direction ah. um, but at the same time at the same time if someone wants to make a bad decision they're gonna make it um, that's true okay. so it's it's an interesting thing. It's weird because working in the UK, I, I love I love the Brits. Obviously, I'm from the US, and I love Americans. <laughs> the UK reminds your passport's me okay still. They have not revoked your passport. You're okay to come here. <laughs> <laughs> He's walking that line. You can right. tell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's just <laughs> people from the UK are salt of the earth, and that's a compliment. These people are from the earth. These people are they're very. Uh, you know, I, I do seminars and workshops there, and these guys are just so open. But at the same time, I, I'm from Texas, and it's the same thing. It's, it, these guys are open. They, they, you know, they've seen the worst, but they want the best. And uh, it doesn't really change that much. Very good. Now, we're going to go to another question from Twitter. Suzanne underscore 99 says, how do you manage that everything that you say on the show seems to be inspirational? Well, you have to understand that there's a lot of things I say. They just cut it, so I'm inspirational. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. But... I think look, you you want to give these guys an experience. You want to say things that are going to change their life or give them some sort of motivation, right? So you have to think about every word. You have to think about every conversation you have with these guys, and it's important. So there's a lot of thought that goes into your approach, whether it be the physical side or the uh, you know the words that you use. It's uh, it's a big thing for the trainers, and we have to put a lot of thought into our approach and the people we're we're talking to. So I think that that. That's really where it comes from. It comes from a thoughtful place and a compassionate place. Very good. Also, we have from Dominique Crossy on Twitter. How important is diet to workout intensity if you're 50? So this is primarily for some of our older um, guys and girls. You know, I think uh, <laughs> a lot of people ask, you know, what's more important? I think they're all important. Mm -hmm. I think if you, you give one more significance than the other, then you take away from something that, you know, that, that could be important to the next person. It's not one size fits all. You can't say, oh, you know, diet's eighty percent, exercise is twenty percent at fifty. Yeah. I think that that it changes per person, and I think the movement is so important. It's, mm -hmm. it's our bodies are meant to move, and a lot of us live from the neck up. The food we put in our bodies send a signal to our brain that says, you know, I feel good, I feel healthy, or you know, I feel weak, and I feel I feel guilty, or I feel miserable. So it's it's all very important. So I it, I can't really say that you know exercise is more important or food is more important. They're they're both very important. Well, Jesse, we have to let you go. Uh, they're giving us a signal, but I have to throw this in real quick. My mom just asked this this morning. <laughs> Who's your inspiration? <laughs> Obama. Just kidding. Um, I would say uh, my mom. My mom and my dad. They uh, they've done a big. They've done a big thing, and they raised me, which was probably pretty difficult. And then on top of that, my son. He teaches me that uh, I need to keep my feet on the ground, and that inspires me. Awesome. Very well, good. thank you so thank very much, so Jesse. Thank you guys very much.